I think that the mouse will um, last for a really long time because a lot of people have kind of grown up using it and um, it's used throughout the world. I think it will be used less and less, mostly because we're going to a world of mobile. And the whole way of interacting with computation is different. We're going to be using our voice more, for example. The generation that has grown up with smartphones doesn't think of that as talking to a computer. When, when they talk to Siri, they don't think of it as talking to a computer, or they don't think of that as a computer interface. So in that sense, it's already disappeared. Um, as things get more sophisticated, as you start talking in your car more, you do that now, you can do that now, I think we're going to see a lot more of that. And then I think that when people are in meeting rooms, when they're in classrooms, when they're in other spaces where there's computation in the environment, they're not going to think about the interface, but computation will be there helping them. And I think that's, we're starting to see it now, and we'll see a lot more of it in the next five to 10 years. We're going into uh, the video world, uh, the 4K world, where we'll have super high resolution displays and um, with enough bandwidth uh, that teleconferencing is going to seem like a very different experience than what we think of when we look at, you know, a lot of Skype images right now on your PC. They're going to be in super high res and they're going to be in 3D. And um, when I was working on video, if you put somebody in front of a 3D display, and you have a virtual person on the other side, after about five minutes, you forget that they're not there. You literally forget. You, the 3D takes the depth, the, the plane of the screen, because you can see the screen, you can tell it's 2D. But if you go 3D, it, it takes that screen and it pulls it out into a volume. And then you forget it's there, and after a few minutes, I could be with you and you could be, um, well, anywhere.